Greetings. I was feeling down about some things in my life. They weren't major things, but I was feeling frustrated because I couldn't get things accomplished. And I'm a goal-oriented person, so it's very frustrating when I can't achieve my goals. So I did something to make myself feel a little better. I resigned to my fate, and I tried to make the best of what I could do. What I basically did was put posters of John Huss up into my room. I photocopied these from a biography of John Huss. I believe it was called the short, a short, a brief story of the martyr John Huss or something like that by William Dahlman. They had pictures in there and I photocopied them. John Huss was a precursor to Martin Luther. He stood for many of the same things that Martin Luther did about a century before such as abuses in the Catholic Church, the belief that you don't need the church, you just need, you can go straight to God and the common people can have the Bible in their own language. This picture, you may not be able to read the caption, it says, Huss led to his death. Huss was martyred by the Catholic Church because of his beliefs. The Catholic Church didn't like what he said, so they burned him at the stake. There's a great movie about that called This is History, John Huss. If you want to look it up, it's on YouTube. It's in my favorites, actually. Now, my favorite picture I got from the book is this one. It says, Huss with a heretic's cap. Apparently, back in the day, when the Catholic Church found a heretic, they would put the heretic in a cap. I, it sounds very tacky to me, but I guess that's what they did. It had, it had pictures on the cap of evil things. That was back in the day when the Catholic Church had so much control. These days, the Catholic Church isn't nearly as powerful as it once was. It was THE church back then. Nowadays, we have so many different churches. It's amazing. So to be a heretic was a big, big thing. And the Catholic Church even had John Huss in its custody. So they were able to physically do that. I got another picture up here. It's of John Huss being degraded as a caption. Degraded is an interesting word. Basically, that was them taking off his official robes and all that, and then putting him in the process to be in that heretic's cap of his. John Huss is someone I admire. I admire heretics. I admire those who stand up for what is right against powerful beings. I admire those who question authority. I admire troublemakers. Now, I want to learn more about another heretic, John Wycliffe. He was in England a little bit before John Huss. Maybe I'll hang up pictures of him if I find him. I also want to hang up pictures of Martin Luther. We'll see. Long live heretic.